Hello, Jonathan from Kickstock Commerce, and um, today I'm looking at the checkout in Big Commerce uh, with a view to changing some of the labels. Now, uh, we're based in the UK, so some of the address labels, for example, are um, they're worded in a, a, an American style, which is fine for the US, but we would like to have things like county instead of state. We probably want town slash city instead of city. Uh, there's things like apartment, suite, building. We might change that to address line two, that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do that. Now, this is the sort of thing that is it's relatively simple to do. Um, you just have to sort of know where to look and you need to know a few key points um, about how the translation works. So that's all this uh, recording is to do really, is to give you some pointers as to where you might want to look. Now, the first thing you might want to do um, is if you Google um, language translation on BigCommerce, you get to this page about uh, localization multi-language checkout. Now on here, there's a very useful zip file called optcheckout.en dot json and that's in a zip so you can click on that and download it and then you can unzip it and what happens is that you get a section of text which is here um, which has got all of the translation labels um, for the optimized one step checkout um, and that isn't in the usual en.json translation file. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to come and copy this. In fact, let's copy it now. So I'm actually copying everything. I'm ignoring that first bracket there, and I'm ignoring the last bracket here, because what we'll find is that we need to insert this into the middle of the existing translation on your theme, most likely. I'm using one of the built-in uh, free themes for BigCommerce. On this particular example so let's just kind of quickly go and look at the theme editor right so here it is now, so basically let's just go from the start to get to this I would recommend first of all you go to storefront and then uh, this is the current theme and I would do a copy of the theme so you've got a copy of it in case anything goes badly wrong once you've done that um, you can then use the edit theme files function here. You'll get a warning here that says if you make changes to the theme files, BigCommerce can't support that. And that's fair enough because you're actually changing the fundamental uh, coding in the site and they don't necessarily really know what you've changed. But as long as you're careful, that's fine. And you've always got the copy to go back to. Right, so within here, you'll find in the lang folder, we have different translation files. So here we have a French and an English. Um, now the main one that we're using is en.json for English. Um, but this is the one that doesn't have that optimized checkout labels in there. So it does have things in cart. It does have things like address line one, postcode, you can see here that you know it is being used in here, but the actual optimized checkout section isn't in here. So what you can do, if you, if you go through here, you can just check the format first, and you can see that there's an opening bracket, which is like I said earlier, we don't need that now because we're copying code that is similar to this, where it starts with header, opens a curly bracket, and then gives various labels. And then you see at the end of each section, there's a close curly bracket and a comma, and then you go into the next section. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to pick an arbitrary place. Well, first of all, what I would recommend you do is copy everything on here into like a text editor so that you can always come back to this, paste it back in if anything goes wrong. And I've already done that. Um, and then just pick a place for this optimized checkout text to go. So I'm going to just go to, let's just do it at the end. So here you can see we've got a comma then cookies, a label, and then a comma with curly brackets around it. See, these are actually easy to see on these very small sections. So what I'm going to do is just open up a line here, and I'm going to paste in my optimized checkout section that I copied from that downloaded file. Now, if we go back up to here, 
So you can see here it's got a slight um, error coming up, and that's because we need a comma. This was the last command before. Now we, we're going to make this optimize checkout the last command. So we need a comma here. So let's get got rid of that error. And then if we just scroll down. So you see all these different sections, and then at the end, you don't have a comma on the last section. Then it closes off the section, then it closes off the whole thing. So if we just do that, that should be okay. Now we can test that by just saving and applying the file. And if there's any um, sort of syntax errors in there, any formatting errors or you know coding errors, it should tell us at this point. If it says it's okay, I think we're in good shape. Okay, so that's good. So what that means now is that we can go and find in that last section the parts that refer to, so for, let's take state province, for example. So let's, let's just take this. Let's try and change this bit first, state province, and see if we can test that. So somewhere within this bottom section here, it should be mentioning state and province. So let's use the built-in uh, search function on here. So it's state province like that. Right, so it is so we are in the optimized checkout section, and there you go, state province. So what I'd be tempted to do is to change that to county, and obviously you can change it to whatever you want for your particular purpose. Um, but for, oh, this is what I want it to be for UK county, um, and therefore I'd probably want to change this um, error label as well to county is required. Okay, let's see if we can find any more. State province. Okay, so state county. state error there was a problem retrieving I would say counties there um, but I don't know you know how far we need to go into this really we only need to go as far as it actually changing the bit that we need um, so let's try and save and apply that and see if it actually does show through and if it does then we're on the right track and we can go ahead and go and change other uh, other labels so here we go. Check out if we refresh this. Has it changed state, province? And there you go. It has, which is, which is really good. Um, I don't like the way this optional bracket um comes right. There's no space after the label. So that's something I'll probably want to um adjust later on. Um. That's probably um, something we, we might not do in the translation file. Although you could obviously put a space after county and that would probably solve it, but that's not really a proper fix. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead now, change postal code. I want to say post code. Address line one, address line two. I think that's fine. Phone number is fine. I want to change that to town city. And then I think that will be um, all, we, all we need to prove the process and to do the basic changes that I was actually trying to achieve in this particular task. So let's just search for city. So again, we've got some Americanisms there, but I'm, I'm not actually worried about those ones at the moment. So here we go. So this is the optimized checkout. This is the area we're interested in. City label is city. So I want to really say, oops, control Z. I'm sorry, I want to type in town, city, like that, and therefore I might as well change the error message as well. And then let's just see if there's any more further below here. City, that's fine. And then we're back to other sections. So I think that's good, town, city. The other one we wanted to change was postal code. So again, this is in the optimized checkout area, so we know we're in the right place. I actually just want to say postcode like that. So 
so therefore let's also change the warning if you don't figure that out properly I think that's it I think that's basically it so if we do save and apply apply Okay, so no errors reported, and then we refresh this. Let's just go to that billing section. And that's great. Town City looks good now. I've obviously mistyped postcode, but it has changed. So we know that we're on the right track with that. Postcode. So here I'm searching and it's actually um, using the Chrome search, whereas I think once the file's actually fully loaded, yeah, it, or if you click into it, it will use the built-in big commas. So it's postcode. I've typed it incorrectly. That's okay. Right, so I think that's it. So I'm going to save and apply that. Let's just go and quickly wait for this to save. Okay, and we refresh that and we should be there. Yeah, so that's all looking good. So I will um, finish this for now. And um, if you find these tutorials useful, subscribe to our channel. And uh, we've got lots and lots of uh, useful hints and tips like this, and we'll be building them up over time. All right, thanks for watching. Bye for now.